I'm CK. Tonight we've got another kit from Veleman Wada. It is their sound to light kit. It takes sound, it probably has a small microphone and turns it into dancing LED lights. We'll see how they do it, see how easy the kit is to put together, see if a youngster will learn from it. And I hope you enjoy the video. Let's see what's in the box. Learn to solder, LEDs, soldering. It's a level one, so very easy. Uh, uses a sound indicator or sound to light unit. Adjustable sensitivity, built-in mic, 9 volt battery not included. Build guide, QR code, circuit board, some resistors, I think these may be diodes, LEDs, transistor probably, little trimmer, microphone, and some caps and uh, transistors there, I believe. Rip this open. I don't know why I ripped the back off, why I ripped the sleeve off it. That was dumb. I never do that. Dive in. Piece of paper. Battery case, which also probably will be a little stand up stand. That's the way. Vel uh, Veloman usually does it. You put the, let's see how, the, oops, see how it goes on. Well, I'm not sure this time because the holes are spaced this way. So it kind of, if you stand it up like that, yeah, that's probably the way it's going to end up going. So the circuit board is typical Veloman, copper, not through hole plated, actually, no it is not through hole plated. No values shown on the board. We've got variable resistor, microphone, cap, resistors, transistor, transistor, uh, diodes, four diodes, and another transistor over here. And that's pretty much it. Let's take a look and see what's inside the other bag, the parts bag, the interesting bag. In here, here we've got the three transistors, BC54, 7B, and we've got some 104 decoupling caps, some 100, micro, uh, 100 microfarad electrolytic, the microphone with one of the pins bent pretty well. I'll unbend that, get ahead of it a little bit. Resistors, just uh, quite a few resistors actually. Our LEDs and then the variable resistor potentiometer to do its thing to adjust sensitivity. Then this is another BC557B. Huh, interesting. Let's take a look and see how bright these LEDs are with my meter. Positive. Eh, they're not hugely bright. Oops. They're not hugely bright, but they're fine. We'll take a look at the build instructions on the little piece of paper so we don't have to go to the QR code URL. Put the resistors on, the LEDs, transistor, capacitor, electrolytics, mic, and then the stand. And then we do have a good little uh, schematic. So we put the battery in here and then this transistor at T4 is what's going to flow current through the 
LEDs. There's a voltage divider there to set it off. And then where's the microphone? There's the microphone. And the microphone is buffered through that one of those 104s to this transistor. And here's the variable resistor, which is going to change the current flow over to here. And a bunch of other resistors to help us along. And that's pretty much straightforward. And I think that's all we need to know before we put it together. So I'll get the soldering iron heated up and we'll put it together. And we'll start as usual which with the resistors. I'll put this 10K1 on first at R1 just to see how the board has taken solder today and how we bend the legs. About a millimeter wider than the body for these hole positions. I rearranged some stuff over here. So Let's see, heat it up a little bit, get some solder on there. Well, it's okay. We're just doing a little bit. The holes are a little bit big, as is typical with these vellum kits. So you have to make sure you get a good connection. Trim those leads off. And there's not much to say about the rest of the resistors, even though I think they gave us a ton. I think they gave us extras, but I could be wrong. We'll see, but nothing much more to say about them. So I will go ahead and put the cameras in fast playback. And you can watch everything just fly on the board. So enjoy resistor time. And that's all the resistors. What are we going to do next? We'll do the th four transistors. And I don't fight them out of the paper. I just clip off the leads like so. much easier than doing battle with them. Oops, what fell down? Oh, my meter lead. Take the one leg back, put the other legs in. Make sure you've got the flat side facing the correct way according to the printing on the circuit board. Now the three capacitors, the three 104s, 100 nanofarad. May as well put the electrolytic at C4. And it's polarized, of course, so long lead goes in the plus, and we'll bend it over flat like so. And we'll solder all these guys down. I think I've got enough solder here to do these. Now I'll put the trimmer on. Where'd it go? There it is. Goes right over here. And I think I put the microphone on at the same time. Oh, I forgot to put the LEDs in. Ha! <laughs> uh, I won't put the mic on yet then. I skipped the LED putting on 
step. So let me get this trimmer down. I wonder why it's got an extra hole in the center. I guess it's so you could get two different part numbers of trimmers because this, this hole goes to the same place the wiper goes on the other one. And now we'll go ahead and put the LEDs on. Flat side is very clearly indicated. There's no plus or minus on the board, but since the flat side is very clear, it's easy to tell how these go on. I'm going to put them all on like this, and I'm not bending the legs yet, because what I'm actually going to do, because I want the LEDs to be really flat on the board, so I'm going to solder one leg of each. Now I'm gonna see they're a little leaning over, not quite flat, so I'm gonna push on one, heat the solder and let it melt. You probably heard that click because I pushed it flat on the board. I'll do the next one. Now they're all flat and nice, and we can finish up the soldering. Now, let's, now we can put the microphone on, and the microphone is also polarized. There's a positive and negative, but there's a tab right here that you can see that keeps you from having to guess. You just put that tab in there, and the pins are in the right holes. Oh, this kind of sits kind of high. There's a little plastic uh, base to the microphone that is keeping it from sitting flush on the board. I'm not going to worry about that, but it's not as neat and clean as it could be. And we're going to put the <coughs> positive and negative battery connections in. And where'd the battery box go? Okay. So what we're going to end up with is that. So we will Put that one in first, the negative lead in first. And put the positive lead in. Did I do that wrong? No, I didn't do that wrong. I did it just fine. Confused myself for a minute. Which is not too difficult. Are these cross tip? Yes, they are. So I'm grab cross tip screwdriver. Get this all lined up. Put a couple of threads in for a second before we get everything all lined up. And I'm going to use my tweezers to get these in place because
we've got them all on so we can firm them up. Don't don't over tighten these because it's metal going into plastic and you might strip them very easily. Now we'll take this last little thing which is a little knob to go in the sensitivity potentiometer and we're ready to turn it on. Let's turn sensitivity all the way counterclockwise. I do not know whether that means that uh, it's more sensitive or less sensitive. We'll figure it out. We'll check to see whether the battery has any power. We won't use the meter. We'll touch it on the tip of my tongue, which I've been doing my whole life. That's how I know 9 volt batteries are good or not. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. I don't know if you can see, but the... Let me turn this overhead light off which probably doesn't do any good because my cameras compensate so well. But let's turn sensitivity down all the way. That's all the way. One, two, one, two. Nope, it's not going to light up at all. Take it up a little bit. Quiet, 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 quiet. More, 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 more. So as you can see, it varies versus the intensity of the sound it's picking up. If it's very quiet, you can barely see it. Uh, which is nice. That's nice. It's good. And, you know, looking at the uh, cascade of transistors, which are adjusting how much current is flowing uh, through the LEDs, is very instructive. So this is a good little kit. Obviously, went together very quickly. And you can stand it up on its little battery, turn sensitivity all the way up, and it gets very bright. But yeah, you could have this in your room. A uh, kid could have it in their room, dance into their music, or whatever they want to do with it. It's a good kit. And I hope you enjoyed the video.